Hey guys, how you doing? One of the things I keep telling people online, well, I keep talking about is how as a professional developer, you're going to have to be able to learn new things on the fly. That's a big part of the job. So that's why you don't want to get caught up in tutorial hell thinking that if you just learn this one new technology, that will be the ticket to getting a job. That's not how it works. The key to becoming a professional developer is being someone who understands the foundations really well to such an extent where you can learn new stuff on the fly. And you want, to be, you want to be able to do this because that's what professional developers do. That's why in my mentoring program, that, my mentoring program slash bootcamp, that's what I have people do. I train you in the fundamentals so you get to the point that you will not be intimidated, you will be comfortable learning new things on the fly because it's very common. So for example, you may get a job doing React, for example, and six months later, eight months later, a year later, you may find yourself where your, your manager will come in or your boss will come in or whatever and they'll say, hey, uh, we need to build uh, this little section here and it's using Bootstrap. So go, go learn Bootstrap. Or we have some back-end server stuff that has to be automated. The update, we have to update some of the scripts. It's all Python. Go learn Python. This is common. So don't get caught in tutorial hell. And to make my point, check out this little piece of uh, data I picked up here. So uh, professional developers' productivity impact. So they did a survey. 60%, 62% of all resp respondents spend more than 30 minutes a day searching for answers to solutions to problems. Think about that. Over half the people they surveyed spend more than half their day, well, excuse me, more than 30 minutes a day searching for answers to problems. <clears throat> that sounds like they're learning something new on the fly, right? 25% spend more than an hour each day, regardless of being an independent contributor or people manager. This is time that could be spent learning or building. Well, I would argue when you are actually searching out stuff, you are learning. For a team of 50 developers, the amount of time spent searching for answer solutions adds up to between 333 to 651 hours of time loss per week across the entire team. As I said, that's just par for the course. You have to expect in your, your developer life, you're going to be learning new things constantly on the fly. That's why you need to concentrate on the fundamentals and don't worry so much about learning React or learning Angular or learning Laravel. Learn the fundamentals. Once you have the fundamentals, for example, of the web stack, learning React on your own just by going to the React site and doing the how-to, the tutorial, maybe watching one or two YouTube videos on React will be pretty easy for you. My name is Steph, and I mentor people in the ways of code. I've been coding since 1994, and the goal of my boot camp is to transfer my decades of experience to you guys so instead of having to spend 10, 15 years to develop that advanced level of thinking, I transfer it to you in a very short period of time. Check it out below, unclesteph.com. I'm just doing thumbnails.